Even the map looks good. The textures. The shading. The detailing. The quality. There's your FPP. Look how smooth this is. That is PC quality. That is PC quality. What's going on, boys? Welcome to the third beta for Apex Legends Mobile. So most of us have seen the gameplay now, and we are all super shocked on how good it actually looks. Graphically, smoothness, everything about the beta just looks incredible. So in this video today, we're going to be going over every single detail of the third beta at the highest quality settings. But before we do that, to celebrate the third beta, boys and girls, I am giving away a free $100 cash for any of you guys to win. All you have to do is go in the link in the description in the comments, join there, follow me on my socials, and you will have a chance at winning up to $100. Now guys, are you ready to see how good this freaking beta looks? Let's go. Okay, guys, yes, we are back again with another Apex Mobile beta, and this one just has blown every single mind of every single person who's played the first two betas, okay? Let me give you some context, okay? The first Indian and the second Philippines beta capped at like 30 FPS, absolute trash, really low quality, and this, I'm going to show you some gameplay in a second of how exactly this looks now compared to those first two betas i'm telling you boys and girls this game is so close to global release already just from this beta i did not expect them to bring such quality and such essence and they've captured everything from like the pc version perfectly but we're going to go over everything today and i'm going to show you exactly what this looks like so this is the new lobby screen that they've got right here okay uh so some changes that they've made from here they've added the battle pass in the top right uh so it looks like the battle pass and the sort of missions and stores and events and stuff at the top right of the screen new player rewards top left obviously you've got your account settings which we'll just dive into now um so if you go to your account settings top left all of the characters you can actually unlock here so you can earn more characters the more you level up so they've added like a, a sort of grindy sort of quest thing in here so you can earn you know lifeline you can get revenant uh, you can get uh, leaderboards unlocked at level six you can get pathfinder gibraltar and so on then you, you can obviously get honor chips as well honor chips are basically what you can use to buy weapon skins and sort of armor skins and character skins and stuff so those uh that's basically all you can do on that section you've also got your profile account page which so shows some of your stats um how many legends you own how many skins you own which is a pretty cool feature i quite like that very simple i like how you've you know got your character sort of dancing in the background there confirmed ranked obviously there's no ranked at the moment but as you can see there they have ranked bronze badges those are bronze three badges so we're going to be getting ranked in apex legends it might not be on the global launch but we're definitely going to be getting ranked and then lastly um you've got uh, your actual previous stats as well so that's cool uh the friends list they've kind of updated on the left hand side it's nothing special it pretty much just shows i, I quite like it actually it's very simple straight to the point see your friends on there invite them on call of duty mobile there's so many there's so much info that's just a ball ache that, to go through so my opinion i think that's a lot better that friends list so along the bottom don't think you can see right above me but we've got setting leaderboards armory which map you want to pick legends club store and more so if we just go to more they pretty much got just the mailbox the warehouse which shows everything you have um in the locker room from skydive trails to to treasure boxes also got the store which we'll go into in a second actually first i want to go over clubs so at level seven i'm not quite there yet you unlock clubs so clubs are like guilds same as Call of Duty Mobile, you get sort of guilds that you can invite all of your friends into. You can gain points in that guild and you can be one of the top guilds in the game that earns extra XP and sort of points from that. So I quite like that they've got some sort of guild feature in Apex Mobile as well. So we're going to go into Legends. You guys already know we've added four new Legends. You've got uh, Mirage, Watson, Crypto and Revenant. So I won't go into too much detail of those because I've gone into too much detail on loads of previous videos. If we go over to Armory, pretty much the same weapons you've got a couple of extra weapons that they've added into the game they've added the vault and um, they've also added the mastiff shotgun they've added the peacekeeper and they've also added a le Kramer. 
Yes, boys, you can use the Kraber. Um, I believe they've got sick Kraber skins as well. As you can see, I, I, I think the skins aren't as high quality. I'm really not sure about that. Let me just go over to settings and actually see... Uh, what what quality settings we're rocking here so as you can see guys yeah they've added graphics quality settings so i'm playing at hdr hd in fact let's go over the settings quickly so we've got all of the standard basic settings everything is pretty much the same as the previous two betas apart from display settings they've added brand new graphics quality options and fps settings so from what I've played of the game so far, I'm going to go over each one. So you've got Smooth Balanced HD, HDR HD, and Ultra HD. The FPS settings, okay? So you've got Low, which is basically 30 FPS. You've got Medium, 40 FPS. High, in my opinion, High feels like 60 FPS. And Ultra, a lot of people will disagree with me on this, but Ultra feels like 90 FPS. I don't know if it's because I'm using the Red Magic 6, which is one of the best gaming phones around. Pretty much is the best gaming phone to use for this game at the moment. But Ultra feels like 90 FPS to me. So I don't know if that's because of the high refresh rate. Who knows? It could be capped at 60 FPS. But from my opinion, it feels like 90. So those are your FPS settings. So we've got display. You've got all of the exact same settings as the first beta. You've got all of your custom layouts, which I've pretty much sorted out myself already. A lot of buttons, maybe respawn if you're looking into this. There's a couple of buttons that probably don't need to be on there. Like the, you've got the, the bar in the middle. You've got this whole black uh, bar that takes up a lot of space as well. Probably don't need a 2x4 button. You can probably just double tap the uh, the scope button a couple of times. There's a bit of feedback for you. I won't go into too much detail of that today, guys. Um, but yeah, we've also got leaderboards, which we unlock at level 6. As you guys know, it is a closed beta. All of our data gets wiped, so it doesn't really matter, um, the leaderboards at the moment. You can grind for yourself. This bait is going to be available until around the 26th or 27th of August, so we've got a whole month um, to play the beta. Um, so, yeah, it's up to you if you want to grind the leaderboards. But let's, uh, let's carry on. So we've got top right, the Battle Pass, which I haven't actually bought yet. So you do get free coins when you join into the game to buy yourself the standard Battle Pass for 388 gold coins which i'm gonna buy right now uh, and show you just here and uh, obviously you get a couple of uh, custom things like a, a gibraltar sort of skin you get a p2020 skin uh, it's the same battle pass we've seen before that i've leaked before um, at the end level 50 you get the cool el diablo octane skin and uh, you can't purchase any more ranks you can earn some more gold coins from playing so i quite like that respawn have done that they've added they've added in ways to earn instead of just paying for everything so i really hope they do this in the actual global release because a lot of people like to grind and earn instead of you know putting in thousands of dollars into the game i personally will be putting a lot of money into the game to show you all of the new updates and skins and stuff but yeah uh, i hope respawn um have taken a note from some other games that have done the same thing where they've made it more grindy to unlock stuff so that's the battle pass pretty self-explanatory it's a standard battle pass uh, you've also got daily rewards and you've also got battle pass rewards as well that you can complete and earn even more tokens um you've also got a user survey which you can do to um basically get more gold coins there's a lot of stuff you've also got a new player login reward so every single day you log in you get something new and i believe the last one is the heat sink mirage uh, skin which is uh pretty cool and um yeah, I guess the last thing we can uh, probably go over is just a store um, in the lobby. So the store update looks really good. OK, guys, so you all you have to do is just swipe and you can go to each sort of store and it shows like little pedestals and like podiums of, you know, the skins and highlighting them. I think this is a sick store. I love how you can sort of scope through it like that. And then it's really transparent. It's really easy to see each skin as well. It also shows you on the bottom right how you can actually win or earn that skin or buy that skin. You can get it from the pass. You can buy that one with 20,000 Apex coins. Very transparent. Um, you've also got, uh, obviously, each individual character and each skin you want to buy for each one. They have added more skins for each character. So you can see you've got the Bloodhound, uh, Royal Guard. You've got the Rune Keeper. Uh, a lot of the skins are pretty much the same as the PC version. I think there's a couple of new ones. Uh, I don't really know which one's off the top of my head, but there's a couple of new ones. Um, you've also got... Uh, I'm not really sure what this is. I believe you can buy these with Honor Chips where you can get... Um, they're like little extra like an id card where you can change your username or if you want you know two times xp earnings you can you can acquire two times xp coins um 
you can get two times XP with this as well. Three times XP as well. A lot of people didn't actually know about this. So <coughs> now you know. Check them out. And we've also got the legendary banners, guys. So yes, confirmed. They've added animated banners. Looks insane. You got them for every single character. Um, I love banners. I think that's what makes uh, sort of Apex really unique. Uh, so they've also got banners. And they also have um, cool sort of uh, poses as well for each one. So exactly the same as the PC version, guys. But very, very high quality um, for a mobile game. So that is pretty much it from the store. There's not really anything new in that. I'm sure there'll be some new updates in the global version as well. Um... I've pretty much gone over everything. The only last thing to show you guys is the actual gameplay. So you've obviously got, you know, the Battle Royale mode. They've only got the map World's Edge at the moment. I presume they're probably going to stick with this map when the global comes out. Um, but who knows? But they've also got Fire and Range as well, which I'm going to cover Fire and Range in a separate video because there's a lot of extra features that I can't believe haven't been added into the PC version yet on Fire and Range. But we'll save that for the next video, so tune in for that. So... You can only, at the moment, go in a squad of three. In the first two betas, you could do solo squads, but unfortunately, you can only do a squad of three, and you can go third or first person. So why don't we hop into a game, and I'll show you exactly what the graphics looks like. Let's go. Uh, and we can actually uh, turn the sound up a bit now and, uh, and hear it. So, guys... I'm telling you, okay? Let me just, uh, let me, let me, let me land, uh, alone. Just want to show you exactly what this looks like, okay? Um, just, just, uh, this is using the, the, the most highest quality gaming phone on the market right now, okay? Um, so, obviously it's not going to look the same on some of your lower end devices, but, boys. Boys and girls. Look at it. Look at the shadow textures. Look at every... Just look at how smooth it feels running. I know, obviously, you can't... Uh, obviously, you guys aren't playing it, so you can't really understand, but... Very, 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 very smooth. I'm playing this pretty much on 90 FPS right now, which it feels like 90 FPS to me. The highest quality settings. This is what it looks like in first person mode as well. V lighting looks insane. Map textures look insane. If you were looking at this from a different point of view, you would seriously think that this is a PC version quality. I'm not even joking. I played a lot of the PC version, and it's super, super good quality. So, as you can see, they've they've optimized a lot of things. Before, in the previous betas, the doors uh, actually uh, basically didn't open straight away. They pretty much open as you run into them now, which... Uh, it's a lot better. Um, obviously, I'm Octane, so this is what it looks like using my stim. Uh, jump pads. They've optimized the jump pads as well. We're going to go slide into this jump pad. And uh, you can go very, very far, which I, it feels like it's further than the PC version as well, which is cool. Um, here's... Uh, you could, the, the only one thing I did notice is that you can't inspect your gun, which is really annoying. But yeah, guys, I mean, just, just, just look. Look how smooth... And look how textured, even third person, look how smooth and textured and ever. Ugh. I just can't get over it, guys. So I'm, I'm going to show you what it looks like getting into a fight. There's pretty much not mm, a lot else to show you apart from this. The bottom of the screen, obviously, you've got your backpack. Uh, they've made it made it a lot easier to actually click on the backpack and, you know, swap guns between slots. Uh, a new little feature is where you hold your gun at the bottom. You can actually just move it into the, into the right-hand slot so you can... It's just little details like that that I really like and uh, what they've done to the game. But right, let's get into a fight. All right, my my aim isn't isn't the best, boys. All right, chill. I'm gonna go out muddy either though. Do you just heal there? Uh, I'm gonna show you a bit of third person gameplay quick. All right, I believe... All right, that's pretty much everyone, okay? So, that's what uh, the fighting looks like, guys, okay? So, the hit reg feels super smooth, in my opinion. feels a lot better. Uh, just look at the map, guys. Just look at the map. Feels incredible. Absolutely incredible. But, uh... I'm actually going to end the video there, guys. I've shown you a lot of this beta. I've got a lot more videos to come of some more in-depth stuff and some more changes that they've made to the game. But I feel like this video has gone on for so long now. Thank you so much for all the support lately. It's been absolutely incredible. Don't forget to hit a like.
subscribe as well. I'm going to be providing you guys with a feedback form soon so you can give me feedback that I can relay to the actual team working on the game because I've got a direct contact with them. So any feedback you guys give me, I can... Yo, bro. See ya. Anyway, I can give you, uh, I can give the actual team working on the game a lot of feedback from you guys. So I'm going to give you one of those forms soon in a later video. I'm going to check out the firing range in the next video as well. Check out the trailer. Lots to come, guys. So I'm super hyped. Make sure you're subbed and let's get it. Thank you so much for watching, boys. Peace.